So what's going on guys? My name is Violent. Welcome to Grizz Zombies. Today, what we're talking about is Call of Duty World War II, and specifically the social space within it called Headquarters. And in here, there is a rank called Social Score. We're going to spend the entirety of that video learning about this, so drop a like on this video if you do take some of this information away. And subscribe! Let me know in the comments section if you're new. And if anything sparks an idea, hit me up over on Twitter, at GrizzViolent. It's the best place to keep talking zombies. In the last video, we talked about the prestige glitch happening with the supply drops in World War II Zombies. Once you prestige, you're going to be earning supply drops in the game, but it will not reflect after the After Action Report. So what we're dealing with here in multiplayer is something very similar, but in a different way. So there is a multiplayer prestige glitch, where if you prestige in multiplayer, all of the social score rewards are glitched. So you'll be earning them in game, but you will not see it reflected when you pull up your actual supply drop menu. Now there are many ways in the headquarters to gain XP when it comes to social score, but what we want to focus on Right now, we'll talk about that in a minute, but right now, look at the rewards. So the rewards for the next social rank, once you reach rank 9, you will get the supply drop. Once you reach rank 10, you'll get the 3500 armory credits. The way it works is the next rank is where you'll be getting the reward. So when we reach rank 9, which rank 8, the reward it said, moving into 9, is a supply drop. So when we look at our actual supply drop HUD, it doesn't show up, it's not rewarded, it's glitched. So with it only being a few days away from about three weeks since the launch of Call of Duty World War II, Headquarters is looking a lot better. We can now grab our Digital Edition bonus content, which is 1,100 COD points. So if you digitally pre-ordered at all, and let's just say you don't have any money right now because Christmas is approaching. It's Thanksgiving, and you guys need to get your presents in line. So you might not have much money, but you do have 1,100 COD points that you can spend in the Quartermaster. Now unfortunately we didn't get the rank 8 reward for moving into rank 9 for our social score which was a supply drop otherwise I'd be opening that right now so what we're going to be doing is spending our 1100 COD points on the Quartermaster supply drops. I'm going to be getting some zombie drops so I will open quite a few of those in this video but I also want to get quite a bit of rare supply drops just by themselves not the zombie ones because you get three chances at the loot. Now it's important that we note that because you only get two slots when you're opening zombie supply drops, but when you get the rare ones straight up, you get three slots, and that's important. It increases your odds of getting weapons, and it's just better overall. So if you're looking to unlock more gear, get the rare supply drops because the zombie supply drops really only benefit you for consumables if you're really low. So, I mean, as you look at this, doesn't something just look wrong? Something's not right? What do we have in the other games that makes it different from World War II and the system that we're seeing here? It was that we had a shared currency, well, at least in Infinite Warfare Zombies. We had keys. And that was very important because you could buy supply drops with that because you earned it. And as you played, you would earn this currency that you would be able to spend on the supply drops that were available in Infinite Warfare. In Black Ops 3, you could sort of do the same thing, but with the consumables, the gobble gums, you'd be able to spend it with Liquid Divinium. Now in here, what we have is Raven Tokens, which we know when we prestige, it resets. It's something that doesn't save, and you can't accumulate it over time. What you can accumulate is Armory Credits. So where the microtransaction system is shifted, where in Black Ops 3 it was, we'll get, let them earn it, but very slowly through Liquid Divinium. And then ultimately at the very end we'll give them a way to mass produce the ones that they want. In Infinite Warfare Zombies they had a very slow key grind at first, where you could buy the drops and everything like that. And eventually they increased it later on in the year to keep players playing. Now what we're seeing is that option being completely taken away. forcing you to pay for COD points, and that's the only way you can earn these. There are glitches taking away from both sides, and unfortunately for zombies, it's taking away the option completely. At least in multiplayer, you have the option to earn supply drops, whether they be commons or rares. You have the ability to earn them daily and weekly through orders. We don't have something like that in zombies, so we get the eight 
zombie supply drops that we earn in our first prestige and then we just get them flashing on screen that we earned them and then the after action reports like hey you still earned it then you go and look when you're in the lobby following that and we don't got no supply drops massive glitch happening in zombies you know I come out here and do these commentaries tell my journey but I feel like you guys need to hear it you need to hear what's really going on but I mean you can't tell me that an unlock token of any kind both multiplayer or the raven tokens we got in zombies is anything like keys because we know that armory credits are just like salvage but take a deep breath we're gonna go a little bit deeper down the rabbit hole you're gonna notice that it says a rare supply drop shows up the first one you drop when you spend your cod points also with the zombie crates you'll see a rare zombie supply drop show up too but look at the numbers after you used it I had eight now I have seven I should be back at eight but that's not how it's working it's glitched I'm telling you it's not working right now which is really disheartening I mean it, it does suck I really wish that the social score would reward you properly but it's glitched if you prestige now if you haven't prestiged you're in the pocket you're in the money you should be getting your rewards but you know what I found most interesting is that we had this leak of all these new weapons that were coming to World War II and unfortunately none of them were actually added so all of these could be upcoming DLC add-ons well they pretty much are the data miners are on point with this so it seems like we're gonna have a new arsenal of weapons and two pistols confirmed that I've seen but we're gonna have a supply drop that wasn't mentioned here today well there's a few of them okay the one that we saw was a rare supply drop there's actually a legendary supply drop that's purple there's an epic supply drop that's gold and there's also a black supply drop that's called a weapon supply drop so those are gonna be special ones coming up I wouldn't be surprised to see these in featured supply drops coming up like triple plays and stuff that we've experienced in both Black Ops 3 and Infinite Warfare so it's likely that that trend will continue looking into the future I'm really interested to see how they're gonna address the shared currency system if there's gonna be something introduced for that so let's talk about how to increase your social score you have to commend other players that is the highest form of social interaction and you can only do it once per player so when you enter the staging area jumping's your best friend now if you have somebody who's opening supply drops get up in their face get right up in their face and let them know you let them know you came for business we're looking to get commended and we're looking to increase that social score so get in their face talk to the people out here by the 1v1 pit nine times out of ten over here you're gonna get commended people turn around and see you they're like hey is he gonna challenge me if not it's pretty much meaning that you're looking for a commend over in the firing range it's a little bit different people here are kinda weird I tend to get my melees in that tends to work you might have to commend them first over at spawn people here are all hot and cold they're looking to get their payroll they're looking to get their orders so they're coming in fast but every now and then if you backtrack at their same speed it tends to work in your favor the prestige guys are easy peasy lemon squeezy go over them praise them just a little bit and they will throw down a commend every time I've never had a problem when these guys are in the lobby something you'll notice once you get up to the social score of about eight is the XP is gonna dramatically decrease it'll be fairly easy the more you get commended to rank up up until about rank eight but from eight to ten you got quite a little stretch and that stretch is only going to get further the more you go so where I'm at right now at rank 10 I didn't get my social reward as I explained earlier it's glitched but the results are pretty accurate overall I did 10 trials and recorded how much XP was gained every time I was commended and currently at rank 10 it's about 30 XP per player through my testing I found that you can't actually switch your headquarters to a new lobby just by going into zombies and coming back into multiplayer it seems that it's actually saved as the same headquarters so they are more interconnected than I initially thought this is a good thing but if you want to know how to actually switch your headquarters lobby you have to do a game restart restart the whole game close app come back in and you will have an entirely new lobby that's how you can actually improve your social rank keep doing that over and over that's the trick my man so let me know what your social score rank is in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video violent out